Hey Wamboos, uh, welcome to the first of many. I'm going to be doing a video in this format for one for every type of mineral, one for every type of gemstone. So I've got my work cut out for me. I uh, hope you enjoy it. But uh, the, the trouble is, this is easy enough just riffing off uh, in front of the camera. When it comes to the scientific and the mineralogical information, I found I kept forgetting everything. So I had to type everything out and then nobody wants to watch me read it. So I've decided to employ somebody to do the reading for me, and that's uh, Virtual Jimmy. So I'm gonna hand over now to the virtual version of me, and we're gonna be doing the first video, and this one's all about agate. Enjoy. In addition to being one of the most precious gemstones, agate can be used as a polisher in industry. The color of agate is highly variable and is determined by impurities. It is most often white, milky white or gray, but it may also take on shades of black, brown, green or red or combinations of all these colors. Varieties of agate Agate is an impure form of chalcedony. Chalcedony itself is a highly compacted form of quartz that forms in microscopically small crystals. Agate is distinguished from chalcedony by its characteristic colored bands, which are caused by various impurities within the structure of the gemstone. These bands are not usually visible when the agate specimens are first removed from the ground, many of them are concealed within large crystals of quartz, but when the outer layers are split open they reveal patterns that are sometimes beautifully concentric in form. The best of these patterns can make the agate extremely valuable as a decorative gemstone. There are several different varieties of agate. Agatized wood is fossilized wood that has had its organic matter replaced by agate, Fortification agate has regularly arranged bands around its perimeter. These may resemble a castle viewed from the air. Moss agate, also known as mocha stone, is translucent and although it may be colorless, it is more often white or gray in color with dark moss-like or tree-like, dendritic, inclusions. These inclusions are caused by the presence of iron and manganese oxide impurities within the structure of the gemstone. Onyx is another form of agate. With straight, parallel bands that run vertically or horizontally right across the gem surface. Nyx is very popular in pendants and in brooches on which designs are cut to leave raised figures called cameos. Uses of agate Agate is frequently cut in thin slabs which are used as ornaments, or highly polished to make brooches and pendants. Because agate absorbs liquid, is porous, it may easily be dyed or stained to enhance its natural color and increase its commercial value. Most of the cheap pieces on sale in shops, these include the fairly common agate slices and onyx playing marbles, have been artificially treated in this way. Naturally, not all agate has the magnificent banding shown in the photographs here, but even the less visually striking pieces can still be valuable, not as ornaments, of course, but in industry. Agate is widely used as an abrasive for burnishing and polishing other materials of similar but slightly inferior hardness and also in the manufacture of pestles and mortars, which are still used by professional chemists and pharmacists. Okay, how's Virtual Jimmy doing? Does he stay or does he go? Anyhow, I'll start to jump in at this point, guys, and ask you honestly, uh, from the bottom of my heart, if you could just rock the like button, uh, because that just helps the algo and helps me get out there a lot more. Uh, so just rock a like button, and back to Virtual Jimmy. Origins Agate occurs in small, rounded lumps or nodules of volcanic lava such as basalt where it forms in concentric or irregular layers that usually line a cavity or geode. These layers are often but not always, colored with alternate red and white bands. Historically, the most famous source of agate was at Dar Oberstein in Germany, where gem quality specimens were collected from at least 1548. Even though its own supplies have been exhausted, this town in the Rhineland is still the world's leading center for polishing and carving ornamental agate. The raw material is now imported into Germany from the huge quartz deposits that have been discovered in the last hundred years in Brazil and Uruguay. Other plentiful deposits of agate have been found in China, Egypt, the Italian Alps, Madagascar, and Mexico. Agate has also been found in parts of Perthshire in Scotland. The best moss agate comes from the Hindustan region of India. There have also been significant moss agate finds in China and the USA. The USA has the most famous agatized wood in the petrified forest of Arizona. Characteristics Agate is made of silica and is a member of the silicate group of minerals and gemstones. Like quartz, of which it is one of the many forms, agate is an oxide of metallic silicon. 
silicon is the second most abundant element in the Earth's crust after oxygen. Agate is differentiated from chalcedony mainly by the different colored bands that form across its surface. Agate is also slightly less hard than chalcedony, but this is only empirically verifiable that is, it can only be observed, the difference between them is so small that it is almost impossible to measure with any scientifically acceptable degree of accuracy. Agate is porous and not very dense, it weighs only just over twice as much as the equivalent volume of water. When agate is hit with a sharp instrument, it does not break off along its structural planes, that is, it has no cleavage. However, it does fracture, and leaves behind a distinct conchoidal pattern that resembles the outside of a seashell. Okay, well if you're still watching at this point, that means Virtual Jimmy isn't as sucky as he might be. Uh, so, excellent. Uh, now, I am a professional uh, rock and mineral dealer. So, let's just have a look at some of the stuff that I supply. And uh, links are in the comment if you fancy anything. Okay, so just a quick look over some of the agates I often supply. Uh, I've got some dendritic agates. Dendritic agates. Uh, Botswana agates. This is out of my shop and I just remembered I'm running low on stock and I did order about a ton of assorted tumble stones from my tumbler and forgot to follow up so I must chase up on that but tumble stones are about the only polished things I'm going to continue supplying. Most of what I do these days is rough. And I've got a lot of this blue lace agate from Malawi. This is really nice stuff. Amazonite.com, if you fancy any of that. And I might put up a few single pieces on Jimmy Crab Minerals as well. If you don't want to buy a whole sale and just want to buy a couple of pieces for yourself. Here's one I pulled out of my own personal collection. This is a beautiful one. What we do is we use hydrochloric acid to dissolve the matrix off. Uh, this one I decided to keep it uh, like that. Keep some of the matrix on. That'll give you an idea of how much weight we lose to produce the top end specimens. So the prices do vary according to how much weight we lose in the cleaning process. Okay, so one video down, only about another 6,000 more to go. Uh, yeah, so remember to uh, subscribe, uh, that'll help me a lot. And I'm gonna be pushing these out as fast as I can. I'm gonna do, as I said earlier, one video for every type of mineral, one video for every type of gemstone and a lot of other stuff on collecting on cleaning on buying on geology uh, so there's a lot of video to come so subscribe now would be most excellent catch you in the next one